Caddis Maximus here. This time with the other two tools Koken had sent me, so not a paid sponsorship. They offered <laughs> to send me some free tools, so I said, sure. As always, no commitments, no contracts. You can just have to send them to me at your own risk. And Koken has been generous with the tools that they sent me, and I do appreciate that. And I should mention that I've been quoting the website prices, but like those ratchets I reviewed in yesterday's video, you can find them for about 20% cheaper on third-party websites. For instance, we do have the Kogan Quarter Inch Drive Spinner Handle. This thing on their website about 17 or 18 bucks, but you can find it for around 15 online. This thing is pretty spendy. Kogan wants 50 bucks for this. You can find it for around 40. Both of these tools I am not as happy with as other Kogan tools. There's more to talk about on this one. This will, but I will say this is the heaviest quarter inch driver I have ever seen. Probably weighs twice as much as any other, <laughs> as you can tell. We'll start with the normal quarter inch drive. Really like Koken's tools. They have really excellent quality control. They even have nice little details. You can just see the reflection where the lead has been just ever so slightly chamfered. Makes it much easier to get sockets on and off. Nice and strong. Through steel extension handle. Really like that quite a bit. Actually, what I'm noticing here is actually a slight lack of detail. This is not, uh, it does not have an undercut or fluted drive. That is just a square brooch. Where on their other tools, they do use uh, a fluted drive, so that's a little bit interesting. Other than that, I like this compact size of this handle. The thing that does kind of dis does disappoint me is that the extra grip is just these really thin ridges. You can see how small those are. And everybody knows when these, when you start, you know, tools get used, beat up, dropped, and thin little ridges of acetate are going to get flattened and damaged in no time. They should have just taken these undercuts and just extended them up through the handle. That would have been great because these little wings are going to get worn and damaged pretty quickly. If they were going to choose these wings, they should have made them pretty wide, maybe quarter inch, six millimeters wide or something. So they had just a bit more durability. Other than that, it is a nice quarter inch drive spinner handle, and I do like spinner handles. The other thing I saw was this. This thing is pretty surprising. Big chunk of billet steel. Pretty nice tolerances. The idea behind this is you pull it out. It's kind of like a breaker bar, but you get a longer extension. So what the idea here is that you would pull it out, break your fastener, push it in and then be able to spin it out like a quarter inch drive spinner handle. It also gives you the, you know, like most breaker bars, you can turn things at angles. It's just the fact that it has a longer stem so that you, as opposed to a normal quarter inch breaker bar where you fold it over, you just don't have any space for your fingers. This would be great for, you know, replacing tail lights or headlight bulbs and automotive applications, that type of stuff where you need just a little bit of reach and you can just break the bolt, flip it around and spin it out. I did like this a lot, except for there is, uh, unfortunately, a pretty glaring omission, which was not testing this if your hands are sweaty, dirty, oily, or greasy. If your hands are this, because the shank is smooth, and if your hands are oily or greasy, you're just going to be trying to pull this out, and you're not going to be able to get a grip. I mean, I have really ha I had to oil this up quite a bit, and really still have to get quite a bit of a grip. If your hands are oily or greasy, you may not be able to pull this thing out and that's can quickly become annoying and i think that's an absolute uh unfortunate omission it's a short it's a oversight they should have had knurling or maybe some concentric grooves cut around the shank of this so you could actually get a grip on it and be able to pull it out the detent is pretty strong because the detent in this portion is designed to be stronger so you can pull a socket on and off without this thing extending out but unfortunately, it makes it really difficult to use in a lot of situations. Other than that, the quality is great. I mean, it's just really super tight. All the steel up to this point is just well above quarter inch thick, so I wouldn't have any worries about the strength of this. I even like the details. You can see that there's actually an undercut here, so when this folds in, it actually sinks into that undercut and actually makes this stem pretty tight. So I really like that. I really like the idea of just a 
a nice heavy steel uh, handle. I also am wondering why they did not put a quarter inch drive uh, through hex in here or through drive so you could also just use a ratchet or something like that like they did here. So unfortunately both of these Koken tools aren't don't make me as happy as some of the others that I have received. And to tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm still gonna end up recommending like this, I call this a Williams style now. This particular style of handle, just these heavy wings, really get a good grip on it. And they have a lot of cross sections, so they're gonna stand up to a lot, excuse me, a, quite a bit of a, abuse. So overall, compared to the Koken, even though the Koken is really nice, I'd still recommend this Williams one, just because mm -hmm. When push comes to shove and heavy work environments, industrial and maintenance environments, I think somebody's going to be, over the time, is going to be more satisfied with this spinner handle than this one. And that's what I'm here for. I serve the, my subscribers and not the companies that send me stuff. And on this, this thing I thought was just really awesome. But once again, no knurling can make this thing frustrating to use because you're struggling to get this thing to pull out. And they really should have included a quarter inch drive head. Uh, receiver on the end of it to make it a little bit more versatile especially when the whole thing steel anyway so those are my thoughts and my review of these quarter inch drive coking spinner handles they were really close to being extremely competitive and uh, being absolutely recommended if only they didn't have uh, a couple of those glaring problems Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.